do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends today we are starting a another sum of macaulay's double integration method problem number 3 overhanging part with udl let's see in details now see this is a question given to you using macaulay's method find slope at a and deflection at c okay figure as shown in figure now this is a diagram given to you in diagram you can see one couple is there and one udl is there and one point load is there which is overhang at cd part is overhang over here now what my colleague say we have to take this section extreme corners or in if in if question have udl we have to cut this section in udl only so in this case we have to do extend the udl till the end and counter udl also and take this section in cd part we have we are taking cd part this is also extreme corner or in the udl so we can satisfy these two conditions only okay now let's start with the solution to know the more now this is a solution okay now see now see this is over here one direction one direction ka more here okay now what we have to do first first we have to find the reaction or first step is to find the reactions so find out the reaction first first step will be to find reaction over here now in reaction what we are taking first taking moment at a equal to 0 clockwise positive okay now see this is going in anti clockwise direction that's why it will come directly minus 10 and this is going in clockwise direction this udl so this is udl okay so minus 10 plus plus this udl intensity will be 8 so 8 into 2 So eight into two into into distance will be two by two four uh, plus two by two. So four plus two by two means four plus one five. Okay. This is a UDL over here. Now this VC into this distance is six minus into six or this distance plus eight into eight. Plus eight into eight is equal to zero. While solving this, you get the value of V C will be twenty two point double three kilo newton. Okay, twenty three twenty two point double three kilo newton. After that, summation F Y equal to zero. Upward positive. See, this is we got the value of V C will be twenty two point double three kilo newton. Okay. now va is going up, upward positive negative positive negative so va minus 8 into 2 plus 22.33 minus 8 equal to 0 i get the value of va will be 1.67 kN okay for va value will be 1.67 kilo newton okay kilo newton after that what is our next step now we have to apply macaulay's double integration method our next step will be next step will be macaulay's macaulay's double integration method 
in that we have to consider the part now take the diagram now you have to cut the section but where you have to cut the section at the extreme corner or in a question if udl is given you have to cut the section in udl but if you directly cut the section over here but this is not extreme corner extreme corner is here or here so at this type of problem what we have to do we have to extend the udl till the end so extend the udl till the end okay now this if you extend this udl means it will be unbalanced so to balance this we have to counter udl also okay now this part is also get balanced now take the section over here only now take the section here now we have to take the section over here only okay now it is satisfied it is extreme corner this is x x distance and your this distance will be x and this is your x distance this is our x distance okay now we have done with this part after that what we are taking we are taking bending moment over here okay and this intensity is is 8 only this intensity is also 8 only okay now after that we consider part part x a and what are the sign conversion positive negative okay now let's see the diagram over here and write it down now see what we are writing first bending moment at x is equal to e i d square y upon d x square is equal to okay now see we are taking bending moment over here so what's the value will come 1.67 into x 1.67 into x after that see this udl this udl is see if you are taking section over here and this will go in the this direction this direction means section this side will go this side will go minus sign so minus minus 10 into x minus 2 raised to 0 please remember these things please remember this line because minus because this is going in this direction and and this is a couple but my college method says that in couple we want the distance also okay so x minus 2 distance will be x minus 2 we got the this distance over here okay now x minus 2 raised to 0 after that minus after that see this udl is coming till here is distance will minus okay now we don't know the distance over here so till here a distance will be we want this distance now okay we want this distance now so this distance will be x minus 4 into x minus 4 divided by 2 okay so after that minus now see uh, we write with the, this please remember these things because this is a couple so raised to 0 is compulsory to write over here now see this udl now this udl over here so value will be 8 into x minus 4 into x minus 4 divided by 2 minus minus 8 into x minus 4 into x minus 4 divided by 2 after that after that see this is going plus over here this is going in plus direction. so we see 22.33 into this distance will be x minus 6 minus sorry plus 22.33 into x minus 6 after that after that see this udl is also in the picture so this udl this green one so this will going upward so positive plus plus 8 into x minus 6 into x minus 6 divided by divided by 2 is nothing but equation number 1 or you can resolve one time also see write it over here 1.67 into x minus 10 into x minus 2 raised to 0 minus 4 into x minus 4 the whole square plus 22.33 x minus 6 minus 6 plus 4 x minus 6 the whole square this will get 4 so get 4 this is nothing but equation number 1 okay after that we have this equation number one we have to integrate two times so integrating with respect to x
इंटीग्रेटिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इंटीग्रेटिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वेल इंटीग्रेटिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वट वी हम फर्स्ट इज ई आई डी वाई बाय डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाउ सी वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट दिस वन वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर बाय टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर बाय टू आफ्टर दैट दिस माइनस माइनस टेन इंटू एक्स माइनस टू रेस टू वन माइनस फोर इंटू एक्स माइनस फोर रेस टू थ्री अपॉन थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट डबल थ्री इंटू एक्स माइनस सिक्स रेस टू स्क्वायर बाय सॉरी सॉरी हाँ सिक्स रेस स्क्वायर बाय टू आफ्टर दैट प्लस फोर इंटू एक्स माइनस सिक्स रेस टू थ्री अपॉन थ्री दिस प्लस सी वन दिस इज नथिंग बट इक्वेशन नंबर टू आफ्टर दैट इंटीग्रेटिंग आफ्टर दैट इंटीग्रेटिंग again with respect to x so what will come over here e i y is equal to 1.67 into x raised to 3 upon 6 minus 10 into x minus 2 raised to 2 upon 2 see this we are seeing this one we are seeing this one over here 2 upon 2 minus 4 into x minus 4 raised to 4 upon 12 plus 22 point double 3 into x minus 6 raised to 3 upon 6 plus 4 into x minus 6 raised to 4 upon 12 plus c1 x plus c2 equation number 3. Okay. Now after that, our third step will be our third step will be. to find c1 and c2 what we are doing to find c1 and c2 applying boundary condition okay now please remember these things in boundary condition our first what is our first boundary condition let's let me let me tell you first c now see this is the question over here now see in previous question what we are seeing see this is a boundary condition one and another one is corner of the boundary cut but in this question the boundary condition will be a and c this because this is a boundary condition because b c d part is not a boundary condition so please remember don't take d part is a boundary condition now because it is overhanging part now see in this we have not write the this box one so write it down See, extend. See, this is a origin, so we are writing over here. X is equal to zero. so please remember in this question when we went so see apply one by one apply put put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 in equation 3 so how will you get value with 0 is equal to 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus c2 now you get the value of c2 will be 0 <coughs> now What is our next boundary condition? Put x is equal to. Please don't make mistakes. Don't take x is equal to eight. This is not your boundary condition. This is your boundary condition will be x is equal to six. This part is overhanging part. So boundary condition will be this x is equal to six. Please remember these things in exam. Put x is equal to six and y is equal to zero in equation three. And now you get the value will be. Zero is equal to one point six seven into six raised to three upon six minus ten into six minus two raised to two upon two minus four into six minus four raised to 
फोर अपॉन ट्वेल्व प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस सी वन इंटू सिक्स प्लस जीरो नाउ यू आर सॉल्विंग दिस यू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ सी वन विल बी फोर पॉइंट टू जीरो ओके फोर पॉइंट टू जीरो नाउ पुट पुट नाउ आफ्टर दैट पुट वैल्यू ऑफ सी वन एंड सी टू इन इक्वेशन टू एंड थ्री ओके नाउ वी हैव टू पुट इक्वेशन टू एंड थ्री एंड वॉट इज अवर टू इक्वेशन सी दिस इज योर टू इक्वेशन पुट दी वैल्यू ऑफ सी वन दिस इज योर थ्री इक्वेशन पुट दी वैल्यू ऑफ सी वन एंड सी टू बोथ सो इट विल कम ई आई डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू This is our A. This is A is nothing but journal slope equation. Okay. Now see, see this. I am writing directly. You can see over here only. This all are getting same. A means journal slope equation. After that, put in equation three. Equation three will be E I Y is equal to. Plus four into x minus six raised to four upon twelve plus four point two zero into x plus zero. This thing, but equation number B or your B is nothing but journal deflection equation. Now we got the value of journal slope equation, journal deflection equation. After that, as you all know, is very simple sum. Now justly simply put the value of x over there. Okay. Now what we are asking in question. four step we are getting to get theta a now we are asking slope at a now what we are doing slope at a slope at a means we have to put the value of x a in a x value will be zero so put put x is equal to zero in equation a a is nothing but journal slope equation so how will you get this answer will be ei dy by dx upon a is equal to ei theta a is equal to 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4.20 okay so your theta a will be 4.20 upon ei radian okay this is asking in the exam our next one will be fifth step will be to get theta c sorry sorry not theta c is y c means we find the deflection at c so in c part put take the value of in c x value will be 6 so put put x is equal to 6 in equation number b as b is a general deflection equation so it will come e i Y B is equal to 1.67 into 6 raised to 3 upon 6 minus 10 into 6 minus 2 raised to 2 upon 2 minus 4 into 6 minus 4 raised to 4 upon 12 plus 4.20 into 6. Okay, now you get the value of Y B will be 57.32 upon E I in mm. Now see, now we, this is our final answer. Now in this type, we have to, you have to remember the in this type first we have to remember this we have to extend this UDL and counter UDL is also for because if we extend this UDL this is unbalanced. To balance this, we can use this here in this type in this type of sum. This is a very complicated for you, so please listen carefully and see the diagram carefully. In exam, take this section over here and this is your origin at A. I hope you understand my videos share with your friends to help with your friends and thanks for watching my videos please subscribe the ekeda channel thank you